What's going on, Beamer fans? Welcome back to Beam Review. Today, we have a very, very special video. We're going to go pretty in-depth with the brand new M Carbon Bucket Seats, and we're going to be dis discussing whether or not you should be buying them. So guys, if this is your first time on Beam Review, what we do here is showcase the latest BMWs that just hit the market. And if that's something that you're into, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now, because we're going to be putting out tons and tons of content. And before we get started, guys, just wanted to show you guys this really cool BMW jacket that I saw on Amazon.com. It is probably one of the best ones that BMW makes. Uh, it is actually made by Puma, which is a really, really strong clothing brand that makes really, really great, great uh, clothing items. And so I did see this on Amazon. So guys, shipping is going to be less than a week. And it has over 100 reviews at a 4.8. So it's definitely worth checking out. The link for that is going to be right at the bottom of the video. So definitely check that out whenever you guys are done watching this video as well. Before further ado, let's go and get started. So guys, talking about the M carbon bucket seats, should you buy them? Should you not? That is the big, big question that I've been hearing a lot lately. Now, I'm personally speaking from experience of having to sit in these uh, seats probably about eight times or so now. Um, ever since the BMW M3 came out about a year ago, um, I did get a chance to sit in the seat way back then and numerous times from that point on till this point on, which has been about a year or so. <clears throat> I have sat in both seats that BMW M3s and, M, um, and M4s come out with. Also, let's not forget that the BMW M5 CS also has the option to get these seats as well, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, guys, comparing the two seats, um, one is very, very standard, of course, and then the other one, which we're looking at right now, the M carbon bucket seats, are extremely special. So before we jump into it, guys, one of the things that I wanted to mention is that the BMW M car bu carbon bucket seats are not very, very cheap. As, as a matter of fact, they are very, 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 very expensive. If you guys don't already know these special seats, they are a option that you, you can get. Um, and the option to get the uh, to get these seats is going to be at around thirty eight hundred dollars. So that is quite a pretty big package or option, whatever you want to call it, if you want to get this uh, special, special seat in the M3 or M4. One of the positive things about the M carbon bucket seats is yes, they are functionally very, very strong, very, very firm, and they functionally do whatever they are supposed to do, which is keep you in place. Now the seats are extremely snug, um, but in a good way, I do want to say, they're not something that's too, too tight. They can get a little bit uncomfortable if you're driving for say probably more than a half hour or 45 minutes, um, then you'll really feel a bit more uncomfortable. But in terms of the function that these seats are designed to do, they do just that. They hold you in super, super tight. It's almost like wearing a perfect glove on your hand. Uh, but in this sake, it's gonna be more of a perfect glove for your whole body whenever you're sitting inside a vehicle. They are the most snug seats that I've ever sat in before. Uh, with that said, they are also the most likely to keep you in place whenever you're going very, very hard around the track or just going down a canyon drive. So yeah guys, these seats are firm, but the biggest negative thing that I could, that I could come up with um, aside from a pretty hefty price tag, but at the end of the day, you do get um, something worth very, very special. The hardest thing about these seats is the entry and the exit. So if we're looking at the video right over here, right along the thigh support, what looks like a little handle right on the bottom of that. Um, I'm going to rewind the clip in just a little bit right over here just so you can see it. Those two bottom thigh support sections that you can see on the bottom seat are probably going to be your biggest hurdles to go across us uh, with not so much on the on, on the one that's on the inside but the one that's on the outside that is probably the most annoying feature about these seats getting in and out over that little section nearby the thigh support is going to be the hardest most negative thing about these seats other than that they are great i will say but this little piece right over here um, it is going to be something that is going to get quite worn because whenever you go sitting out, whenever you try to get out the car or get into the car, your thigh is going to rub on that. And that is going to be the only negative thing that I could come up with on these seats. For the most part, they are great seats. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, as mentioned before, anything past the half hour and you're going to kind of regret getting these seats as well too. Also make sure your, your wife or girlfriend 
um, is going to be okay with getting in and out of these seats too. Um, just make sure they try it. You will thank me later. So guys, moving right along, in comparison to the sport seats or the standard seats that BMW M cars come with too, um, let's not forget that the BMW M standard seats, they are great, great seats and probably more comfortable, sorry, they are more comfortable compared to these seats as well too. They don't give you the same snug fit that these M carbon bucket seats do, but they are more better for your daily driver vehicle. Um, I personally, if I were to get these seats, I would have a second car ready to go for my daily driver. Um, this car would just be a weekend car it had had the fact that I would add that I, ugh, that I were to get the M carbon bucket seats. Uh, the sport seats do hold you in well. Um, also, one thing to mention about the M carbon bucket seats is that you can't get the cooling or ventilated seats with these. You can you, you can still get the heated but you cannot get cooling seats if you were to get the m carbon bucket seats so that's a big big point to give out to you guys if you guys were considering having vented uh, having ventilated seats as well too you can get ventilated seats if you were to get the standard sport seats um, so that's a big big thing to to throw at you guys to so just make sure you know that um but yeah guys the sport seats there is no knock against them at all um if i had to choose whether to get the standard sport seats or these m carbon bucket seats I personally would get the sport seats. They do still feel great um, in comparison to these two. And they're definitely more, the sport seats, the standard sport seats are going to be a bit more comfortable for your daily drives. Um, and at the same time, they're still functionally very, very great as well too. You can still adjust the bolstering in both of these. So if you still want that more snug fit compared to the other vehicles, you can still do that. So guys, in conclusion, should you get the M carbon bucket seats or should you just stay with the standard sport seats? Well, that question is definitely going to be pertaining to yourself, um, obviously. But some of the pointers that I can give you that will help you out is the fact that um, how long would your daily commute be? Is this going to be your daily commuter car? Um, if it is, I would strongly recommend the standard sport seats if this is going to be your daily. You can still get past... Um, the discomfort that you might get after a half hour drive uh, but just note that the entry exit is going to be a little difficult and it might get annoying quite fast one of the biggest perks that um, you would get with the M carbon bucket seats is the fact that there's no other vehicle that has seats like that uh, that I know um, these seats will definitely turn heads. You can still get them in the variety of colors like red, this Kylami orange that we see right here. And it's definitely something that would make your vehicle completely unique as well too. So you definitely have your pros and cons. Um, kind of depends on whatever you're comfortable with. Me personally, if I were to get the M3 or M4, I do would plan on daily driving the vehicle. Um, and I would probably just keep it as my only vehicle. So for me, I would strongly for myself just choose the standard sports seats they do still feel great they do still keep you in place and they do keep your wallet um four thousand dollars more full so that's just my take on it but if you guys have any questions feel free to drop it down below um i have sat in these seats for about eight to ten times now guys so definitely throw some questions at me um if you guys want my opinion uh yeah just drop it down below and i'll be sure to help you guys out Hope this video helped you guys a little bit in your buying decision. Um, but yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Tons and tons of more content coming out for this year. We're going to be trying to plan videos every three days. And we're doing a great job so, so far. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And also, guys, don't forget to check the Amazon link right down below. Take care now. Have a great day.